A neo-Nazi who violently attacked a security guard outside Channel 9 is on the run after fleeing and later defending white supremacy online. Laura Turner reports Thomas Sewell's actions have been widely condemned as police hunt him and an accomplice. A coward's punch from the far right. <laughs> This is neo-Nazi Thomas Sewell attacking a security guard after he was asked to leave the Channel 9 building. Sewell had an accomplice film the attack, hurling racial abuse at the security guard. Dance, monkey, dance. Watch yourself, bro. I'm not a dance monkey, watch yourself. Touch me. Mr Sewell, a member of far-right group National Socialist Alliance, approached Channel 9 security last night, wanting to speak to staff from the A Current Affair office. A current Affair on this show uh, about us being terrorists, our organisation advocating for white people in this country. Security had asked him to leave. Sorry, you can't film in the building, bro. The exchange turned violent and Sewell then fled the area, later posting videos online defending white supremacism and himself. Out of reasonable self-defence for the cameraman to stop him from having his throat crushed, I uh, disabled the attacker. The attackers disgusted anti-defamation groups. Well, last night was a reminder that where white supremacists gather, violence usually follows. And gone to the top of politics. What a cowardly scumbag. You know, this is... Our grandparents' generation thought they'd... You know, I think they'd be shocked to realise we're still arguing about Nazis. The police hunt for Sewell comes as an anti-vilification committee tackling anti-Semitism prepares to report to the Victorian state government tomorrow. Sometimes you've got to do more than just call it out. Sometimes you've got to go further than that, and if we have to, we will. And Laura, despite being in hiding, Sewell hasn't been silent today. No, Peter. Uh, he hasn't handed himself into police, despite the fact that he could face some really serious charges over what happened last night. As you mentioned, he has gone online a number of times today, uh, posting videos defending himself and his behaviour, and also continuing to push his far-right ideology. Now, I've spoken with police just a few minutes ago as well, and they have confirmed they've not made an arrest as yet. They are still investigating this, though, and they are asking any witnesses who may have seen this in the Docklands last night or seen him and his accomplice running from the scene to come forward, Peter.